is Alperin, and welcome back to yet another reaction video. Today we're reacting to the Russian Badger. This literally just came out like an hour ago by the time I'm recording it. And unfortunately, it's not uploaded on the same day it's recorded because I already had another video scheduled to go out. And this just kind of dropped out of nowhere. And if you remember in the last Russian Badger video, I said he would be making a Leap of Company video because it was so popular when it came out in November. And now, what is the most popular game out there right now? Helldivers 2. So I'm expecting to see a Helldivers 2 video in at least maybe a month or two. But we're not going to say any more because I want to watch this. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get right into this in 3, 2, 1, boom. Lethal Company is like an Easter egg hunt on a minefield. Also, I just came out of the shower. <laughs> <laughs> that minefield was also located on a shooting range. Oh god, oh inside of a haunted house crawling <laughs> with monsters. <laughs> the bracken. With the scariest monster of all being the crushing demands of capitalism. Is this what minimum wage is like in the United States? <laughs> Close, but <laughs> As a $10 game made by a furry in his basement, I am morally obligated to play it, so my kneecaps remain unshattered and my mailbox unpiped by It's fun. Of course, Hadi so. drops that. He's like, he's a furry too, Lamel. I know I'm late to the party. <laughs> I know you've already seen tons of videos and tons of streams, but I can assure you, this one is most definitely worse. Hey, Bada, does this sound like an Why? error to you? And if you don't mind, I'm just going to yap about it for 40 minutes because I'm dying to tell you why I'm in love with this YouTube poop of a game that outsold Call of Duty. I really do True. <laughs> it did outsell Call of Duty. This video is sponsored by Swouse, my brand new merch collection Wait, on what? sale for a limited time, but I'm not going to tell you oh. about it for like eight more minutes because I don't want to interrupt the story. So let's get started. Okay, so there's this company. I didn't expect that. I literally just sponsored like, um... One of the usual ones he tends to do, like Opera GX or something. Nope. Quite surprised by that. He called the company that puts a metaphorical gun to your head and gives you two choices. Make money for the company. I don't speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. Or, if that doesn't sound like your style, your second option is summary execution by the company. True. The game was rigged from the start. The money required to avoid order. your execution is called Oof. quota, and it doesn't matter how silly or how scary things get, it is the only thing that matters. Hey, what's up, man? You know you're going to be summarily executed into the void of space <laughs> if you don't get a quota, right? This may seem like a boring five-letter word, Q-U-O-T-A, who cares? But the more you play this game, the more you realize it is so much more than that. You will experience horrors beyond your comprehension in the name of quota. Yo, why he herbal? Why he herbal? <laughs> You will betray your best friends in the name of quote. What? Shut up, what? shut up, Mayor Captain Subs. Shut up, fuck. Okay, fuck you, fuck you. It's getting you. It's getting you. It's getting you, dog. Sorry. Start the ship. Start the fucking ship. Put the keys in the ignition, please. Hear me loud and clear, and I mean loud and clear when I say it's quota or die. Yes, yeah, in the ziplock, so pull the shit loud and clear. Quota is achieved by stealing. Repurposing random junk from quote abandoned industrialized moons that I can assure you were abandoned for a reason. Uh oh. Yeah. Yo! Oh my god! This crap, officially called scrap, is fantastic because it makes absolutely no sense. What makes no sense <laughs> is this nuclear powered reactor I'm holding is worth less than a rubber ducky. A jar of pickles can be worth huh? more than a oh, yeah. A lamp can be worth more than a nuclear reactor. Even the bodies of your dead teammates technically have a value. And in case you weren't already depressed, each and every one of you is worth five whole credits. Why does this game's economy let you trade five human beings for a jar of pickles? I bought you a gift. This game is pretty fun though, I'm not gonna lie. I've had a blast playing with my brother and his friends. Yo, what's up? A jar of poop? Pickles? <laughs> Those are Potentially. Value is important, but weight is even more important because the heavier something is, and the more it drains your stamina and hurts your regen. Which, in a game about sprinting away from things that want you dead, is important to keep an eye on. You can close yeah. doors on them, right? They can't open doors. Yeah, oh, they, they can. can't. Open doors. Oh my God. Dipshit, <laughs> dumbass <laughs> spider can't even open a goofy odd doors to open door. <laughs> oh God, the spider has opposable thumbs. <laughs> <fun. laughs> Five basic movements you'll make while scrapping. I like to call Spidey or Dipsy. Dancing, Dipsy? interacting, oh. pointing. Loaf. I saw a monster out there. Scanning, which is super important for spotting loot and bad guys, so spam that shit. And why? 
yapping. I think it goes without saying that yapping is mandatory if you yeah. want to survive. Aren't preachers like professional yappers? I mean, <laughs> they, yeah, 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 they yeah, 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 yeah. the yeah. 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 Dog change the yapping. Guy Most crap is one handed, so to speak, because it doesn't restrict your character's action at all. <laughs> this is a little horrifying, but it's kind of soothing at the same time. Other crap is two-handed, which means you can't access your inventory, climb ladders, or pick up anything else, with a perfect example being... Oh, yes! Yo, scream it as loud as you can. I want to hear it as loud as you can. Soda! <laughs> Yo, you actually had... Soda! Soda! of quirkiness when it comes to scrap and the apparatus is a can you still believe this was made by one person and it only costs 10 bucks can you still believe it prime example this mini nuclear reactor is what powers the entire facility you're looting so once you take it all the electricity is gone which means no more lights and an immediate spike in radiation levels i love grabbing this thing because it makes everybody's day worse yeah pretty big fan i grab this thing and i ruin everybody's day <laughs> me grabbing my car keys after 12 cores lights <laughs> <laughs> oh my hey, god i wish this would stop telling me to drive which one of you fucks oh, pulled the battery dude, dude i was by myself i was by myself picking shit up and i was like you know what at least i can see where i'm going and make my way back and then all the fucking lights turned off and that's crazy, anyway. You can call me an idiot for using it as the world's largest, heaviest, most expensive flashlight, but my goals are beyond your understanding. Hey, hold up. Hey, I got a big flashlight for the crew. Get out of the way. Big flashlight coming through. Big flashlight boy on the move. Big expensive flashlight. Plenty of scrap has use beyond simply turning into credits to meet quota, like keys that unlock doors. Yeah. I key for moments like this. You could do Hi. so much okay. trolling. Fucking nothing. Never mind. For my personal favorite, stop signs, so I can beat the shit out of bugs using stolen government infrastructure. I wish an anomaly would right now. No matter the junk you collect, it is completely worthless unless you cash it out for credits to meet quota, which is where the terminal comes in. Terminal is the second most important word in this game next to quota, because if you don't learn it, you're in trouble. Your ship's landing and takeoff is controlled by a lever on the dash, but selecting where you want to go is the terminal's business. Typing moons will tell you which are available to loot and how the weather is and trust me weather in this game can be a real kick in the dick once you make yeah. your mind you're typing route then where you want to go like the company building so you can cash out your scrap much like all things in lethal company the hq is also trying to kill you turning in your yeah. scrap to the window and ringing a bell will turn meaningless crap into cold hard credits but don't stand too close once the slot opens or you will also be collected Oh god! <laughs> I flew too close to the sun. <laughs> Assuming you survive the tentacle monster, it's time for payday. Ah! Uh, I need a I mean, paycheck. The size of this paycheck not only depends on what you <laughs> Just realize what he but did. when you delivered it. On day zero, when quota is due, they'll pay you 100% full price for your items, but any day earlier than that, and you only get a fraction of their value, sometimes 30 cents on the dollar. This is a bunch of math I don't care about. Sell whatever you want on any day you want, as long as you meet that almighty number called quota. Assuming you did that, holy shit, we can finally start having fun. Now that you're no longer a little piss baby and you understand quota, let's get down to serious business. <laughs> Items. <laughs> Collecting. With newfound credits come newfound options, a big one being moons. Some moons are distant, like the infamous Titan, that costs money if you want to land on them. They are both higher risk and higher reward, because even though they cost credits, these moons have the best crap and the scariest monsters defending that crap. Hey, what's up, oh, bitch? Oh, God. Freddy Fazbear. What's up, Freddy bitch? Freddy Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear. Back up! Back up, bro. You moving your trash! <laughs> <laughs> That's how poor people like Oh, my them. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> how much money did we pay to travel okay. to this planet? The other major option for burning credits, items. And I know you're gonna ask me, so let me tell you in advance that you cannot buy beans. Hey, you want some beans? Beans? Beans. What kind of beans? Bean, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> How old is that meme? You can download a mod if you really need beans. I think you've noticed by now. People love modding this shit. No, I think oh I yeah. The I have. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen this mod yet. It's, the 
only one of as far as I go is just the random swaps between like the Mario, the Minion, everything else. That's, uh, as far as we went so far. <laughs> and who needs beans when you got swaps? My brand new limited time go. that took me two years to get right. And I'll tell you why. You why? See, I'm one of those perpetually cold MFs that's always shivering his ass off, and that makes Carhartt hoodies my very best friend. But the problem with wearing Carhartt is that it makes me feel like a fraud. Yes, I'm Yes, I'm If you're wearing a Carhartt hoodie and it's clean. You are not a motherfucker that should be wearing a Carhartt hoodie. I do this shit for a living. I'm not forklift certified, and I've never stepped foot on a construction site, so I've got no business wearing the uniform of a guy that works 37 hours a day. 85 hours a motherfucking day. So to break free of this Carhartt prison, I tried every hoodie you can imagine, from streetwear to activewear, over the past two years, and I found the final form of hoodie. I didn't like cotton hoodies because they stretch out, lose shape, and gather those beads of lint. I didn't like polyester hoodies because sitting in synthetic fabric workout gear all day made me feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> My Swaps hoodie is the perfect blend of primarily cotton with a touch of polyester so it's comfortable, never bees lint, never loses shape, and always looks fit check fresh as the day you bought it. Fresh. The design is inspired by my favorite part of every day, which is the time I spend doing dumb shit with my mocap suit and the source engine. Tossing shit, breaking shit, hitting myself in the head with a brick. All the things that make you want to say swouse. My cousin Tyler did such a great job with the designs that we decided to make t-shirts oh, and mouse pads Oh, his cousin made too. it. I mean, swouse pads. I am so committed to the quality you of this. mouse pads in this? thousand of you to order the entire three item set at the link below will receive a handwritten thank you note from my own goddamn fingers. I'm gonna break my hands doing this. You've got two weeks from today to place an order with items arriving at your door in about three to four months. I know that's a little bit of a wait, but it makes sure that everybody who wants a hoodie can get a hoodie. Unlike those limited merch drops that sell out immediately and only a handful of people get the item. That's so True. fucking stupid. I stand by the quality of my products. You can cancel or refund at any time, I will give you your money back. And I am begging you to place an order at the link below because this shit is too good to miss out on. Use code BADGER for 10% off and thank you for hearing me out. <laughs> Moving on from- I should get some Badger merch. I should. I react to a lot of, a lot of its videos, so I really should. Think about it. Swouse to more serious items. We got to talk about flashlights because in Lethal Company, you live and die by the flashlight. Who put True. a flashlight in the cabinet with one percent battery? I'm gonna crack your <laughs> fucking skull open. If you no. Have a to spot mines, turrets, and That's monsters evil. lurking in the dark, ready to nay nay your ass into an early grave, you are destined for a life of pain. There's a mine in here somewhere. Wow, there's Steps on it. Oh no, there's a turret. <laughs> yeah, no flashlight, no bread alert. <laughs> These things are so critical that if you fall to your death, your teammates will have one thing to say. Damn. I really miss that flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> There's a different version and a pro version that is brighter, larger, and has double the battery, and if you forget to recharge it, I'm feeding your ass to a spider. All items, including flashlights, are bought via the terminal and delivered to you with a jingle that is nearly impossible to miss. Apart from flashlights, everybody's got a tier list of what's good and what's bad, and the walkie-talkie is definitely divisive. It allows you to communicate really? with anybody else anywhere on the map that is- I haven't had the chance to use the walkie-talkie because we just don't use it. Our group, we just don't use it. Also holding a walkie talkie. I don't know what I was gonna say. That's why I so paused for a second. <laughs> Well, all of you so shut the fuck die. up. Items can range from useless <laughs> novelties that provide zero utility. Hey, can you buy that candlelit dinner, please? Who the fuck a toilet? <laughs> Two items with situational utility, like performance enhancing medicine to avoid losing all my ad revenue on this video, even though it's apparently a safe and legal combo of amphetamines and helium. Oh, I gotta hit it? <laughs> nice recreation. Slash possibly useless category. Even though it's funny to flashbang something with eight eyes because it theoretically hits them four times as hard, my homies never deploy it correctly on any monster, spiders included. He's got a flashbang. To your right, to your right. There's a mine as well. <laughs> Mop. Mop. Hey, look, I see. Maybe it worked. Uh, I think it died. You killed it, dog. It's dead. I'm no, it's not. It's a lie. <laughs> the only item more likely to betray your teammates than a flashbang it's is the ladder. Game. Because no matter how sturdy it is, it is only as safe as the guy that's holding it. Just fucking jump, drop it all. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. He's gonna die. <laughs> Just the fact. 
You're not so funny now, are you? If you want something truly useful, <laughs> buy a teleporter, which lets you yoink any player you are currently spectating back to the ship, dead or alive. Just look over Bada's shoulders. <laughs> this is so how are you doing this? this? <laughs> Very important to do that, because the company deducts a big chunk of credits for every crewmate you leave behind, but as long as you collect the corpse, you avoid the tax. Okay, right. I still don't... Uh, okay, Whoa. who's getting excited? Stop, stop! Oh god, we got a glitch. An inverse teleporter, which beams you from the ship into a random part of the facility, as scary as that sounds. Press the yellow button. I don't think I've had that issue okay. yet. All right, let's get in there. All right, we gotta go. That is horrifying <laughs> that all of them are now gone. The only major downside <laughs> is that items do not travel with you, so it's best to use it for body retrieval or getting a trapped buddy out of a jam. Hey, teleport me out. I'll go back to the ship. I need to be teleported. Okay, don't move. I'm not teleporting his dumb ass. Wasting resources. I'm looting other sections of the map. Ooh, engine. <laughs> Did he just die? Yo, Loaf, are you good? <laughs> loaf, Loaf, can you hear me? Is there a Loaf still alive in here? That answers my question. I think I'm done here. <laughs> and with that, it's time to move on from items to cooperation. Because if you understand teamwork, it'll open a lot of doors for you. This, this door? Yeah, open it. No, the other one that says lock, dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> it goes without saying that being friendly and cooperative leads to better outcomes in Lethal Company. But if you ask me, being hostile and chaotic is a whole lot funnier. Oh, you know, it is a lot funnier. Piece of shit, but we won't bring that up. But if you hope to meet quota, especially the larger quotas, you'll need to trust and cooperate with your teammates. Gary put it there. He said it won't go off. I don't think it's going to go off. So I think well, yeah, I don't think so. Oh! <laughs> nope, it went off. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said this was tech! I thought you said it was tech! Making tough choices is a fundamental part of what makes lethal companies so addicting, and I'll illustrate this with a door. Let's say you've got a teammate being chased by a monster rushing towards the ship, and you've got two choices. Close the door and let your teammate die, but keep yourself and all your other teammates safe from the monster. Close it on, Digi. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, baby. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> he is so or dead. Alternatively, open the door for your sprinting teammate to potentially save his life, but run the risk of the monster getting inside and killing all of you. Open up, open up, open up, open up, open up. Coming, coming. Okay, okay, okay. No, <laughs> oh, why did you bring the bees in? Fuck me. This is a major reason why <laughs> Lethal Company is incredible, because weighing risks and constantly making life or death decisions for both you and your teammates is always exciting. Oh, right. here they come, here they come, Grab here it. they come, here they we come. Close the door. Better hurry up, better hurry up. Oh, he left him behind. He left Gary behind. Oh, no. Now, why did he say something? <laughs> I think it's beneficial to have some pessimists on the team that may be a little negative, but also keep your feet on the ground with pragmatic decision making, especially with credit spending. Did you, did you spend 500 fucking dollars? <laughs> <laughs> but you can't forget to balance out these negative players with hopeful optimists that bring enough energy and levity to keep the whole team going. I'm ready to work for minimum wage! The teamwork dynamic radically changes if you have the big lobby mod enabled, which is extremely popular which you can and changes the team play the max with multiple people. 40 players. And the more players you have, the less teamwork is... The highest we've gone is probably the six to eight players. It's probably the highest we've gone so far. Important. If you have a lobby exceeding 10 players, it's gonna feel like you picked up an entire Menard's worth of contractors on the way to that moon. Smoking. Sorry about that. Let's continue. Get on the Menards two by four bed. Bro, Menards two by fours aren't two by fours anymore. They're one point five by three point five. So I'm fucking it. Five hours a motherfucking day. I do this shit for a living. You got soft hands. You got soft hands. Eighty-five hours a motherfucker. Now that I'm thinking about it, everything changes when you go beyond the default four players. A horror game isn't much of a horror game when you outnumber the monsters and all you can hear is chatter about George W. Bush. I got a picture of George W. Bush that I George Bush earlier for you cut off. I was talking about my morning ritual. Uh, every morning, I wake up, I salute the flag, oh, I take a shit, oh, yes. get out of bed, and then I <laughs> I kiss a photo of George Bush every morning. Herschel Walker and W. It's about time we got to the monsters anyway, because each one being unique adds yet another layer of complexity and, quite frankly, fun, if you ask me. Oh! <laughs> wait, somebody's on the... Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> 
day starts at 8.02 a.m. and it's imperative that you move as fast as possible. Go, 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 go! 7.25 an hour, let's go! <laughs> 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 If you ain't first, you're last. Get up that ladder, boy! Because the ship will automatically leave you behind at midnight, and as the day goes on, more and more monsters will spawn. True. Where did the heat come from? Built different after easy looting in the early game, but once the sun goes down, your likelihood of getting G-checked by a monster goes way up. Damn, I'm good. I'm built different. No. That's right. I made it. I'm built just scary, bro. Damn. That's crazy. The first monster to keep in mind, gravity. I'm willing to bet that gravity kills more interns than any other monster, and the number of times I get accused of pushing people is ridiculous. Oh shit! No! <laughs> What? I didn't what? push him. I mean, I guided him, but I didn't push him. <laughs> I guided him. I'm a sussy. I'm gonna be real. Okay, okay, fine, fuckface. Spell suspicious. You cannot spell suspicious. Alright. S. Right, you go first. E. <laughs> 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 Turrets are self-explanatory, but mines have a little quirk. By this point, you've already seen so many deaths to landmines that they just aren't funny anymore. Oh no, they're still funny to me. <laughs> but what's interesting about them is that they don't detonate until you step off of them. You have to be on it. Oh, you don't have to be on it. So if you ever accidentally trigger one, you can save lives by getting your teammates out of the blast radius before you step off. <laughs> Some monsters you can negotiate with, like hoarding bugs, that will completely leave you alone if you drop them loot. Hey, come here, fuckface. There you go. No, no, no. There, there. Get out of here. He's see, he's excited. That was a good trade. <laughs> it truly doesn't matter what that loot is. Bada literally gave one a gun, and it immediately left him alone. I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Oh, let him take your shotgun. <laughs> get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! But don't go thinking that every monster can be negotiated with, because if you try to pull that shit with Bracken, he may not be so amused. I'm no, he won't. Coca-Cola, and we'll negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Bracken is the most beloved entity in the game that prefers red to blue and is often modded to become Freddy Fazbear. All right, if you True. Him I haven't seen anybody again, use I'm no. Oh my god, he's right there! Hey, what's up, my boy? Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bro, I summoned him. That was me. Wait, is he in that nae nae? He'll snap your neck and drag your body back to his trap house if you get too close or stare too long, but if you only glance at him, he'll just leave. Oh, okay. I see that I'm not alone anymore. Did Bracken come back? Okay, 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 he came back. <laughs> <laughs> Senor Bracken, come out to play. You know what would be the most cursing to see? A Bracken that's T-posing. No. Oh my god! Some monster interactions are just horse shit. Like the speed that a thumper can wave dash is nothing short of a death sentence. Oh. Holy shit. What is that speed? I feel like Gary would be so hyped about his movement. And don't even get me started on the spooky little girl. The math required to understand her behavior could probably stump Richard Finder. Oh girl, what this? I, I... All right, so should I be scared or not? She's just breathing. She ran away. She just left. She's a scared little coward. See you later, chicken shit. Dumb mad child. But for the most part, I still, he still has died. Claws for you to exploit. If you don't want to get eaten by a giant, make sure he doesn't see you. There's another one. Oh god! If you don't want to get eaten by a dog, make sure he doesn't hear you. Hi, Taz. Super quietly. What the dog doing? Oh god. Oh, look at me! I proc on sound. <laughs> Stupid ass dog. <laughs> the more unique the monster's flaw, the more unique the interaction. And I think Coilhead takes the cake for me. Yeah. No, I could not get out. Coilheads are invincible, but can only move when you aren't looking at them. So making sure one of your teammates is always making eye contact is crucial. Hold E and look quick. Ooh. Holy <laughs> shit. But he just stepped on a landmine! It's the best way to deal with him. But if you have a teammate nearby and you just don't tell him, that's also a solution. Uh, it's doors. Well, can you close doors on him? Oh, the block? No, they open doors. All things can open doors. Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> Left him Do to die. Go in there. Do not go in there. 
Do you not me? go in there. He goes in. All right, I'm gonna go back in the ship. All right. So what happened? You, you all were right. So um, <laughs> you want to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> I do Broke not. Intuitively, he can be even more dangerous with a large group because everybody else assumes that somebody else will maintain the eye contact. Badger, this way. Badger, this you way. You a whole bit. Oh, oh wait. What if I went the other way. Fire escape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just heard him running. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the frame of that scream. If you prefer fight to Holy fight, shit. bashing monsters to death with shovels or stop signs is an option in Lethal Company. I don't think I've actually fought a monster yet. I don't think I have. But this strategy is much more suited to a modded lobby with ten guys running around than a default lobby with four. Get it, yeah. Guys, fellas. Oh, oh fuck. Nice. This game was clearly designed as a run away from the monsters game, not a space Hulk. The monsters run away from me game. He is cooked. Oh, oh, I'm gonna gobble him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, God, Grouse! <laughs> <laughs> that that literally just oh, sounds like Tom. Looking ass death. All right, I'm gonna jump into the ocean. You guys be good. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of monsters are invincible. Most can out DPS you, and it always feels better to find the creative solution to the bad guy instead of trying to solve every problem with a stop sign. Will he take a whole ass large axle? I want to see him take anything. It. All right, all right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, back up, back up. Oh, he took it! He took the whole ass large axle! All right, I have a little confession to make with the little, little um, bug boys. I don't actually know the, remember their name for the moment. Um... I never realized that sound actually came from them. I thought it was just a non -th thing that didn't really happen with them. I thought somebody was just adding the sounds in uh, post, but no, it's actually from the game. Or maybe it's modded. One of the two. He seemed pretty happy about it. And you've already seen in this video that the scariest monsters are often your own teammates. It's also common to have a commander, so to speak, who is somebody that stays behind on the ship to monitor the radar, open secure doors, teleport players, and communicate on the radio. They're essentially the one driving the boat, having both great power and great responsibility. Let me drive the boat. His ass is being taken. Do not give him the keys. 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 The wheel. Let's go. What's that shit? <laughs> because Grouse is having the time of his life. Off early, it means a premature death for anybody not on the ship, and I have never seen a group of interns so angry. For what reason? We are aligning digital. Oh my god. You are such a stupid moron. Do you know how much loot we had? We had thousands. Digi, we're gonna beat you to death with hammers. I hope you know that. I say that we revoke Digi's oxygen privileges. I, th I think that those need to, those need to go away. Yes, 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 yes. Why do I need reverb? Wait, where did you go? <laughs> you can't leave the disrespectful mm. space. A final question I'm sure you're asking is Lethal Company scary? And yeah. the answer entirely depends on settings. If you were on the big lobby mob like me and constantly have teammates around saying things like this, you'll get salt, pepper, ketchup, a little bit of poop, uh, you know, the usual. No. It's not scary. If you jack up your brightness like I see a ton of people do, no, it's not a scary game. But if you're playing default four-player regular vanilla, I think it shows how brilliant and scary, or at the very least unsettling, the game is. I never. Also, if you are most of your crew leaves and you go back into the place alone, that's a lot more scarier. That happened to me at least twice. <laughs> thought I'd unironically say this word, but the reason why is immersion. I know Skulker is about to bully me and tell me I oh smell god, like soundboard. Here we go. Word, but hear me out. Or AI beans, voice. Too? You smell like fucking beans, dog. <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> That was like a year ago. Unlike Maybe a two. Call, which feels flat and 2D, the proximity voice chat in this game makes it feel 3D with both distance and direction. Well, you're above me, you're up there. 
<laughs> For lack of a better word, you are immersed in this world with 3D surround sound that temporarily tricks you into feeling like you are in a place talking to other people. I oh, think I got my swagger back! <laughs> What's up, fellas? Yeah. The moment I realized this was brilliant was the moment it was taken away from me. I was deep in the facility down a labyrinth of hallways and my flashlight was almost dead. I feel like it's getting kind of late, fellas, and I'm running out of battery. I called out for help from my teammates, but I was met with silence, so I tried the radio instead. Let's try this. Can anybody help me get out of the facility? I'm just totally lost. Hello? I have never felt so completely <laughs> alone in my entire life. Uh, this is what happened to me. I was alone. Out loud and hearing things said back in a 3D space that when you say something and don't hear anything back it is haunted it's Your eerie flashlight is dead the night is getting darker and the only noises you can hear are monsters approaching you from all angles okay i'm hearing big movement honestly at this point he didn't see me no you didn't see me you didn't see me just leave the facility badger what do you, what do you think, think he's doing to do i can't find my way out Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that was such a labyrinth, there was no way that I was finding my way out. That is how Lethal Company can be scary and what makes it so brilliant. When you are around others, the game really makes you feel like you're around others. They retweet a lot of shit, bro. Like, I don't keep up. I just, I just hit retweet and I keep scrolling. <laughs> when you are by yourself, the game really makes you feel like you are by yourself. We are talking 100% forever alone. You are a absolute silence from everybody around, around you. I am turn 84. Away. This game was made by one guy, and you won't understand the true extent of his goofy creativity until you've played it for yourself. Press B true. on things and just I eat it and it disappears. <laughs> Don't eat Try. the toilet either. That's just gross. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see how Lethal Company evolves in the future because since I started making this video, there's been a major update and a mountain of mods added to this game. Yeah. Wait, what? That was from the, the introduction of the double barrel shotgun from this nutcracker monster has completely changed the game. This one item suddenly makes every crewmate more dangerous than a police officer hearing a falling acorn. He's got a gun! He's got a gun! He's got a gun! He's got a gun! He's got a gun. Damn. Damn. I don't know why, but having this thing around crewmates is like a PDF around boomers. People are gonna die. I guarantee it. That's actually the key to just conquering boomers. Ask them to sign a PDF digitally, they just die. I asked a boomer to sign a PDF for me and he pulled out an electron microscope. <laughs> <laughs> Adding a gun to the game may not sound like a big shift, but it okay. has the ability to transform trustworthy crewmates into homicidal maniacs. What's even funnier is that there's a new item called the Dramatic Mask that is specifically designed for this purpose of turning teammates evil. As in, if you hold it up to your face, you can literally turn into a monster that attacks your teammates like a zombie. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and even that is far less dangerous than a teammate with a shotgun in his hands. Debatable. <laughs> in the hands of a reasonable teammate, the outcomes are incredibly positive because the ability to kill a monster in a split second will get you out of a jam. Can you kill the bracket? But putting the power of God in the hands of an unreasonable teammate, the outcomes may not be so positive. You know what? I don't even yeah. care. I eat bullets. I don't give a fuck. Let me have it. I just had to G-check him <laughs> on that dog. The shotgun just talks to me sometimes. You can't blame him. What are you writing? Please, give me the shotgun. Oh, I, I didn't get to I see it. I can be trusted with a double barrel shotgun when my teammates are unarmed. The little girl coming after me. I'm fucked. I have a gun. Little girls aren't good against guns. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Only I can see her, and when she reaches me, my head is full. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to tell him that I would solve his problem so badly. There's even a safety mechanic on this thing because when there's it's a safety loaded, mechanic, the safety off, it can randomly fire, and not all of us agreed on safety rules. What happened down here? So my safety was on, and I didn't manage to shoot, but thankfully Mickey saved me. Hey, you can just hey, never turn the safety on. That solves your problem. Safety. 
Always on. Mail's out, so. I am a responsible <laughs> If I make it back, oh, no, I do that. great. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Sigrid <laughs> is locked the fuck in. She was not tolerating any tomfoolery, all right? Sigrid is so locked in. Like, how is this possible? What did that dog just do? Oh, it got her! I was so fucking locked in. fucking shot me the back of the head. If you were any more locked in, it would be considered a prison sentence. What makes this especially dangerous is that the spread on this bad boy is massive and it has oh, no yeah. problem clapping multiple targets at once. Damn, somebody How killed me. How do we me. all die from that? My most recent play session in February taught me that mods can definitely enhance or weaken the experience depending on your perspective. Like cosmetics and emotes are just fine. What is gorilla? Oh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> but if you turn on the wrong mod like Brutal Company, it ruins Oh, you are screwed. Pasta doesn't know that there's going to be a mine under his feet in three, two, one, and. Oh, you got this single frame execution. It may be fun for a round or two, and it may make Twitch chat laugh, but that's only because you've made the game impossible. <laughs> oh my god, Shaq, that's the scariest thing that has ever happened to me in my life. Don't get me wrong, I'm strongly in oh favor god. of pushing the bounds of what's possible in a game and limit testing to the ends of the earth. We must limit test. Yeah. <laughs> Did he just say worlds? <laughs> <laughs> but there comes a point where too much is too much. Like if you find yourself in a game where you can always hear other people talking, no matter your position on the map, the big lobby mod has gone too far. Bitch, we can hear y'all through the bookcase. Yeah, we can. As soon as I think Gary's too far away to be heard, I just hear, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of one game of 20, how about two games of 10? Four games of five? Five games of four? You do the math. I think I've made my point on the mods. If you really want to squeeze the fun out of this game, less is more. This is just Gary. I don't care what you tell me. Yeah. This is Gary. Uh -oh. Wrap it on up here. I can't thank those of you on Twitch enough for helping me make this video. From the subs to the bits to the jokes. I used my neural link to exterminate every Kia Solonar in existence. Oh, <laughs> Why do you hate the Kia Soul so much? That makes no sense. Hell, I don't want Chat to get a neural link. If Chat ever gets a hold of a neural link, it's over. Kia Souls are built like Kingpin from Spy. <laughs> I drink two hours a day, six days a week now, and having thousands of you screaming at me about my busted ass hairline really is a dream come true. Do not forget about the Swow merch at the link below. It's only available for the next 14 days, and it's a great way to support these videos while also making sure you pass the fit check. Fresh. And a final shout out to Zeekers for reminding me what kind of power an individual has in 2024. The fact that Lethal Company was made by a single person blows my mind. Yeah. I've never spent a better $10 in my entire life. <laughs> I'm gonna die. If I had two bullets and I had Hitler, Stalin, and Digi in front of me, I'd shoot Digi twice. <laughs> 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 oh, oh that's down. mean. Uh, um, um. <laughs> that's a jetpack. What is? What is this hatch actually for? All right, there he goes. Explode. What the? Hell? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it do that? Why did it do that? <laughs> <laughs> I read oh the directions on the jetpack. It said, we fly shit. high, no lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it, dog. The final thing I have to oh say boy. is thank you for watching all the swap all shirts the and stuff in the background. I really hope it defied your expectations. Thank you for hearing me out on the merch, and I am so excited to see what the next video looks like. All you Twitch MFs already know it's Helldivers 2. Yep, I, I called so it. I'm excited to start that video. It's not even funny. Once again, thank you so much. MFs already know it's Helldivers 2, but I am so excited to start that video. It's not even funny. Once again, thank you so much. You guys give me the greatest job in the whole wide world, and I will catch you in the next video i just wanted to make a weird noise just to like really mark the end of the video and i i guess that works oh man <laughs> i knew it was gonna be hell divers too i told you it's it's the one of the most popular game currently on the market alongside lethal company i'm sure more people are playing uh hell divers 2 right now anyway like myself i play every chance i get when i'm home late at night and i'm not doing anything
not editing, not recording, not doing other things that I have not announced by the making of this video, which I've already made a pe paper for that I needed to do. Um, yeah, that's uh, something else entirely. <laughs> but um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it kind of, I kind of look like a little bit of a mess. I literally got out of the shower and I saw this video pop up. Like, I have to record it before I do, before I leave. Because I'm actually getting ready to leave at the moment. So, another reason why this video didn't come out on the day of its um, upload. is because I'm, I'm not going to be around. But, um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. I'll be sure to check out his Helldivers 2 video when it comes out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.